Hey there, welcome back to another episode of Confessions of a Small Business Owner with me, Alicia. So it's been a while since I have um, made a confession. Um, so basically, it's been like two months, right? So um, I've had a lot of changes in my personal life, in my business life. I just really have a lot going on. Um, so I decided to make changes. Um, I decided to pivot how I wanted to do confessions. You know, originally when I started doing confessions, I, um, I was doing like, um, I would type up things daily and then at the end of the week I would record. Actually, I would type things daily. I would record vlogs daily. And then at the end of the week I would combine them into, um, one video so I don't really like that format you know I'm um, especially just like with so much things going on like I continue to write things I continue I write a lot a lot a lot like I just I'm looking this way because I have like 10 journals over here um but my heart really wasn't in that format and really the universe was telling me to pivot so as a business owner um I wear a lot of hats I run a lot of businesses and I found myself getting distracted discouraged unmotivated so I had to sit back inside what I really wanted and um and I'm still deciding on what I really want. But one of the things that I do enjoy is confessions. I do enjoy sharing stories. I do enjoy sharing um, tips and tricks and things that I've learned along the way. And I do love it, especially because I do have people that message me and tell me that my video has helped them in some kind of way. And I've only done, um, this is video eight. So it makes me happy that I do have some people watching and people telling me that they find the info helpful, like the story is helpful. So I'm basically just like, so they know they're not alone in their own um, struggles with their small business. So anyway, I do enjoy doing confessions. I do enjoy sharing my stories. And so, yeah. So anyway, with that, I am pivoting. And basically what I've decided to do is just, I'm going to still do my blog and there's going to be a vlog to go with it. The only thing is that it's going to be, um, I'm going to record it all at once and then it's going to be up on my blog and it'll be up for a while until I record my next um, video. I mean, my goal is to at least do like two a month, you know, but maybe more, maybe less, but that's kind of what my new vision is. So I'm not going to sit here and lie and act like everything is okay when shit has not been okay in my life, but it is all good. Blessed, grateful, um, but I haven't been okay. I have been looking at jobs while also trying to like while also dealing with not compromising with life right not compromising and just getting a job like um what's that saying like uh I forget but it's something about like working to live like I don't want to work to live or live to work or live to work or whatever that saying is so I'm still dealing with um that I'm still dealing with, you know, deciding on do I get a job? Do I not get a job? Especially, um, you know, if you have a, a small business, especially in California, you know, things are difficult. Um, things are a little different now, uh, especially you might be you might be experiencing less sales. Some people aren't. Some people, no matter what the economy is doing, they're freaking they're thriving and blessings 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 but some of us are um having to pivot some of us are struggling especially um i'm gonna be not i'm not gonna say i'm going down a conspiracy theory rabbit hole here but um they are they whoever they are they don't um to really support small business you know whether they are like big companies government um, whoever they are they do not support small business and they don't want smart small business to thrive and you see it with things like taxes with things like fees um, especially it was especially evident during COVID you know when mom and pop spots had to close but places like Walmart or McDonald's stayed open like could you not get covid at walmart or mcdonald's but anyway that's a conversation for another time but um you know i just wanted to share that i am changing that i am pivoting that i am doing different things and you know um i just want you to know as i am learning that it's okay to pivot it's okay to have setbacks it's okay to start over 
redirection is often protection, right? Redirection is often God or the universe or whatever higher power you believe in. I believe in God. So in God telling you, you're going in the wrong direction. You know, our setbacks are our setups for something bigger, something bigger, something better. God has a way bigger plan for us. We just have to um, ride the wave and flow, you know? So, um, but yeah, as I work out, I'm like reading because I've been like typing a lot. So um, as I work out my goals and my plans, I will be posting vlogs, like I said, randomly. But like I said, at least my goal is at least twice a month. Um, one thing I recommend as a small business owner is just to write down your goals, write down what you want, what you want to accomplish, write out your why. What is your why? I'm still working on my why. Um, I mean, my why for confessions is I love to share stories. I love to inspire people. I love to let people know they are not alone in their struggle. Um, but why do you want your business? Why do you want your small business? So I definitely recommend to do your, to write down your whys and um, yeah, why you want this business. So I have two stories to, to tell you. Like that's one of the things about confessions is sharing stories with you of things that I experienced. So um, I had someone recently DM me about how much they love a product and would love for me to send them something so they could promote it. And actually the word she used was, I would love to be able to share, I don't even remember, something about sharing with her TikTok followers. I'm not on TikTok just because I'm not on TikTok. I don't have TikTok on my phone. Um, that's a personal choice, but um, so she could share with her TikTok followers. So wild uh messages me um sends me a dm 2.7 seconds after she messages me and talks about how much she loves my product and that she bought it two years ago at a pop-up and that she wants to promote it to her followers so it's you know i'm not a believer in followers equates to sales followers equates equates to um financial gain but I am a believer in don't DM me and talk about how much you love my product and you don't follow me because that's wild to me. Um, don't do it. Don't. If, and if you love a company so much, don't ask for free stuff. Like I would never go into your job and ask you to do something for free, right? Like how would you feel if your boss was like, you know what? I love your presence so much that if you just come to work and be like, I just want you to be here just to be around me. You know, I, it's just, it's wild to me that people are continuing to ask for free stuff. Um, another thing that happened to me, so did I respond to her? No, everyone does not require a response. Everybody does not deserve your energy. Um, so you don't have to respond to those messages. And no, I did not respond to her. I, I'm happy that she loves my products, but, um, you can't love something and not buy it for two years and then want it for free and then not follow the page of the product you love. Like there's products that I love that I don't follow them. Um, but there's products that I love that, um, why am I getting a phone call when I'm recording? So there's products that I love that I don't follow them, but I do buy them all the time. Um, let's see. Oh, do you have a return policy? Do you have shipping policies? Do you have, what are your policies? Do you stick to your policies? Is it like a case by case situation? Um, I had someone who wanted to return a product and I do this all the time with Nordstrom's, but that's why I shop with Nordstrom's. Um, I buy things from Nordstrom's and then I, you know, order multiple size, multiple styles. And then I return the one that I don't want. Um, but it's Nordstrom's and I don't wear it and it can be resold and um, that's their store policy. Now, this customer ordered something from me, she ordered two and she said she wanted to return one because she didn't like it. Now my policy is all sales are final, but it's like I definitely want to please the customer. So I'm trying to find balance between um, pleasing the customer and not being taken advantage of. So do you stick to your policies or is it like a case by case situation? You know, people are really wild sometimes. And so it's just like, I, I don't know, like I struggle with that. So what do you do? Like, what do you stick to your policies anyway? So that's it. Those are my two stories. Just, you know, wondering if you stick to your policies, um, 
everyone doesn't deserve your energy. It's okay to pivot, write down your whys, um, what are your goals? And yeah, so thank you so much for watching this episode of Confessions. Thank you for being here. Don't forget to like and follow and share with a friend who needs some confessions and needs some support in the small business world. Love you.